On our first edition of Shop Talk for the 2014 season, we found ourselves in the Muldoon Racing Garage located in Baldwinsville, where the father-son combo of Mike and Michael Muldoon are hard at work preparing to debut their brand new Novellus Super Modified. Yeah, the, the three cars we built before, there was really no difference on any of them. But this one, uh, we lowered the roll cage down about four or five inches maybe. Um, I'm actually, I designed a new tail wing. Um, we're putting that together right now and uh, tipping the motor over. That's what you'll notice the most on it. Um, we're not really sure how, how it'll work with the motor tipped over, but we'll know we'll get more air to the left rear. So we'll have to adjust accordingly to that. But other than that, suspension, everything is placement, everything's the same. Yeah, it turned out great. Um, JR does our lettering and uh, he emailed me a couple designs and I just told him to uh, switch some colors around and here and there and I really liked the way it came out. Um, we figured we'd switch it up for, for this car. Um, we've always had the, the blue, orange, red and white so uh, we figured switch it up. We've had the same thing for the past three, four years. So. With the possibility of up to 10 brand new Super Modifieds debuting at the Speedway this season, the Muldoons still take pride in debuting their own race cars out of their beautiful shop. Yeah, it's nice to be the only one up there, well, one of the only ones up there with a Muldoon car. Um, everyone's got a Hawk or an Extreme. I mean, yeah, they, they definitely run well, They've proven time and time again. But it's nice to have our own thing and uh, be different than everyone else. And if we get it to work, you, you never know. It's really the only way you learn. Um, you got to know your own car, so you build it. I figure that's that's the best way to know your own car and know what it's going to do when you change the adjustments. So. Since the Muldoons made a full-time return to the Speedway in 2011, one of those adjustments made has been their continued evolution in aerodynamics. In my opinion, without the wing, the car it drives a lot better. It it handles a lot better, but when you're competing against 23 other cars that have a tail wing. Um, the big difference is you can't go in the corner as far, but it rotates through the center of the corner a lot better than it does with, with the tail wing. So uh, you kind of don't really have much of a choice or else you're just going to get blown by going into the corner without the tail wing. So we figured we had to make it work eventually. With a race car now that the Muldoons feel can run laps in the mid to low 16 second bracket, work continues to develop young Michael behind the wheel. Who knew at an early age, Oswego Speedway was in his future. Pretty early. I mean, I started racing like when I was five, so I was started racing really early, and uh, I figured that when the Treacy's bought the track, um, he said he wanted to build a super and bring it back. So that's when we started. It's completely different. Um, really, the experience in the new white didn't even help at all. Um, it's black and white. It's two completely different things. Um, this has got 850 horsepower, those had like 100 something and they got a wing on them and really you just got to learn how to run a good line and try to harness all 850 horsepower. Since 2011, Muldoon's development has been methodical, going from learning how to drive the car, learning how to go fast, and now learning how to finish races. Um, we didn't really finish a lot of races, so that was the, the big problem. but. Uh, I was really just getting comfortable in the car. Um, different bodies than what we got now. Um, we didn't have the back wings on it, so starting my second year is kind of like starting all over again. Um, last year we only had two DNFs, as opposed to the year before where I couldn't even tell you how many. There's that many, but uh, just trying not to wreck stuff. Um, finishing every race, whether it be a lap down or whatnot, just take what the car can give you. My mindset just changed. I, Started to learn, take what the car gives you, and uh, just if you finish races up there, you're gonna produce results eventually. And through the maturation process, Muldoon is fortunate that he doesn't have to look far for guidance to his father, Mike, a three-time Speedway track champion and winner of the 1995 Budweiser International Classic. I don't really remember a lot of it. I remember going to the track and everything, but I didn't go to a lot of races, at least not that I remember, but um, I watched his tapes and everything, just how he was just able to go from 18th to the lead in a matter of 20 laps is just awesome. Like, there's, I haven't seen a person do it yet. Um, I've seen Barnes go from 18th to the lead, but to go from 18th to first in 20 laps, just blown by the whole field is just unheard of. I've learned everything I know from him. 
Um, they, you want to pull your hair out sometimes, but in the long run, uh, it's been pretty good. Yeah, I tell him what I'm feeling, and he's like, all right, well, we got to do this, this, this. So he knows more about what needs to be changed, and I just tell him what the car's doing. I'm starting to, starting to learn more and more every, every year, but um, without his help, I'd don't know how I'd be doing. So now with three years of experience, a brand new race car and dad's guidance, Michael Muldoon has his goals set for the 2014 season. Um, I'd say pick up my first win, maybe get one or two. Um, my main goal is to finish every race, roll it on the trailer, not tear stuff up. Um, maybe a top five in points, just being consistent, getting top fives, top tens every night and get a car that we can qualify fast with. We haven't had much luck qualifying in the past, so hopefully with this we can get her down to like the 16 fives. Right now we got Sandy's Bumper Mart. They do all the chroming on the car, so I want to thank them. Um, Fox Shocks is supposed to be getting us some shocks here pretty soon, so I want to thank them too. And uh, All Car Care Auto, they're going get, to get us some crew shirts and everything, and they sponsored us last year, the year before, and I want to thank them too.